Hello, everyone, and welcome to podcast nine and three quarters, a Potter podcast. I'm your host, the Half-Blood Princess. Today, I'm going to talk about five weird facts that came out about the Harry Potter series after the books. Before we get started, if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. J.K. Rowling may have finished the Harry Potter books a long time ago, but this doesn't mean that she's let go of them. The author has taken to Twitter and various other outlets, such as developing Pottermore, to expand on the canon of her series and provide more information for a fan base who just don't want this to die. I'll go over just a few of these today because there are so many. Okay, so starting with our first canon fact, Harry can no longer speak Parseltongue. After the fragment of Voldemort's soul inside Harry was destroyed as the true final Horcrux, Harry lost his ability to speak Parseltongue. It's kind of sad in a way, since Harry had been able to use that gift to his benefit several times. He saved Justin Finch Fletchley at the Dueling Club, accessed the Chamber of Secrets, and was able to understand various conversations thanks to this gift. It would have been cool for Harry to have been able to keep this gift. Canon fact number two. Lupin and Tonk's son dates Bill and Fleur's daughter. Some of the most impactful deaths in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows were Remus Lupin and Nymphadora Tonks. In just one short sentence of the last book, we see their bodies lying next to each other, both killed at the Battle of Hogwarts. Though that wound may never heal for some fans, they may be able to take solace in the good life that their son ended up living. Teddy Lupin grew up as Harry's godson and was welcomed with open arms into his extended family. Eventually, he got to know Victoire Weasley, the daughter of Bill and Fleur Weasley. The two began to date and as of 2017 are still going strong. Doesn't that help to mend the Lupin Tonks wound a little bit? No, no it doesn't, but it's still nice. Canon fact number three, Luna Lovegood marries Newt Scamander's grandson. Speaking of happily ever afters, here's one for the fans of Harry Potter's more eccentric characters, Luna Lovegood, Hogwarts' oddest badass. Leads an adventurous life after helping defeat Voldemort in the last book. She becomes a magizoologist, a keeper, and, well, finder of fantastic beasts. It's fitting, then, that Luna winds up with the grandson of another animal-loving oddball, Newt Scamander. Though we did love the idea of a Luna Neville Longbottom romance, it's cool that Rowling departed from our expectations for this pair. After all, not everyone had to stay with the person they made out with after surviving the Battle of Hogwarts. And in fact, number four, Dolores Umbridge went to Azkaban. Here's one to just make you feel good. After being the worst villain in the Harry Potter franchise, Dolores Umbridge ended up in Azkaban. The reason, according to Pottermore, was that she took part in imprisoning, torturing, and even ordering the deaths of some innocent witches and wizards in the Second Wizarding War. However, being the worst literary villain since Hannibal Lecter is also a pretty great reason to be thrown in Azkaban on its own. And lastly, the lovers of Minerva McGonagall. Minerva McGonagall is basically the Batman of the Harry Potter universe. She's forward-thinking, resourceful, brilliant, and occasionally brooding. But what you might not know is that, like Batman, Minerva has made it through a lot of tragedy. Her first love was a muggle for whom she almost left the wizarding world. Sadly, he was murdered by Voldemort in an anti-muggle attack. Minerva's second partner, who worked with her at Hogwarts, also lost his life because of dark wizards. Heck, McGonagall's home was even destroyed, which is why she now lives at the school. But through all that tragedy, Minerva is still one of the most steadfast, courageous, and righteous witches in the Harry Potter world. She will always do what's good, no matter the sacrifice she must make. Without her, Hogwarts would probably be a much darker place. Alrighty, that is all I have for you today. What do you think about these facts about Harry Potter? Comment your thoughts down below and stay tuned for more videos with more weird facts about the universe after the series. As always, be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, love you. Bye.